This set of solutions is for the 2019 AP Calculus AB exam for the free response section. Question number one says the fish enter the lake at a rate modeled by the function e, where e of t is equal to 20 plus 15 sine pi t over 6. And the fish leave the lake at a rate modeled by L, given by L of t, 4 plus 2 to the power 0.1 t squared. So E of T and L of T are both measured in fish per hour from the starting time of midnight of zero, T equals zero. So first of all, it's very important to recognize that we're talking about a rate. These are both rates. Okay, so these are rate functions. So we're using the fundamental theorem of calculus here to answer part A. So this involves the fundamental theorem of calculus. So it says, how many fish enter the lake over a five hour period from t equals 0 to t equals 5. So we want to know the number of fish given the rate that the fish enter the lake. So the e of t function is drawn here. So I've done this on the calculator. So this is a graphing calculator problem. So we do this on the calculator. And I want to find the, the total, the change in the number of fish. Okay, so the change in the total number is going to be the area under that curve. So We'll call this the, the number of fish. I think they use A in the answer key. So we'll use, say, the change in A of T is equal to the, actually, we shouldn't do that. This is a change in fish entering. Number of fish entering is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 5 of the E of T function. Okay, and then using our graphing calculator, we're just going to use our shade function. And we end up with 153.457, and around that to 7 fish. Okay, so that's the total number of fish that enter the lake in that time. For part B, it says, what is the average number of fish to leave the lake over that five-hour period? Okay, so the average number of fish to leave the lake is going to be modeled by, first of all, this is, this is an average value function. So we want, we're calculating the average value. So we're going to say that the average value is equal to 1 over B minus A and the integral from a to b of the function that we're in, trying to find the average of. So in this case, we want to find the average value of the rate. Okay, the average number of fish that leave the lake per hour. Okay, so that's our rate. So that's the average value of L of t. Okay, so first of all, we need to find the total number of fish under the L of t function and divide it by the interval. So another way we can look at this is the average value at the average fish per hour is going to be equal to the total number of fish, which is what the integral is going to calculate. So maybe I'll highlight that. Okay, so this is the total number of fish divided by the time interval. And so we'll call this a five hour interval. And this is over the five hour interval. Okay, and that would represent the time frame, which would be this here. Okay, so there's two ways we can look at this problem. So then drawing this function in, we have a function here. A, our L of T function kind of looks like this. At five hours, we're right there. So the total number of fish is going to be that shaded area in here. So this represents my L of T function. And we're going to find that on our graphing calculator. And we end up, so we're going to write this like this. So the total number of fish is going to be the integral of L of t over the 5-hour interval, 
5 minus 0. So using our graphing calculator then, we're going to find that area. That area works out to be 30.2952, if we round that, and that's fish. And this is over a five hour interval. So working that out, the average number of fish that leave per hour or the average value of L of T works out to be 6.0590 fish per hour.